so friends in this lesson number seven we are going to learn two important formulas to calculate an average speed so friends uh, applying a values in the formula and getting an answer everything is so easy but you should know where to apply formula number one and where to apply formula number two for which question right that is important if you apply the wrong formula for the wrong question then you won't get a correct answer right so friends let me move on to two important formulas to calculate an average speed so friends here is formula number one if the certain distance is covered at a speed of x kilometers per hour and the same distance is covered at y kilometers per hour then the average speed of the entire journey so we need to use a formula 2xy divided by x plus y so friends in this note number one you should remember one thing that in both the cases the distance are same listen here friends first of all certain distance at a speed of x kilometer but the same distance at a speed of y kilometer so friends remember that if the distance is same in both the cases that is an entire journey if the distance is same then we need to use a formula called 2xy divided by x plus y so friends let me move on to question number one a man goes to a certain place at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour and return to the original place at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour so find out the average speed during the entire journey friends listen here friends initially a man goes to a certain place and he is returning back to the original place right so in both the cases the distance is same so if in both the cases the distance is same then we need to use a formula called 2xy divided by x plus y to find the average speed of the entire journey right so the value of x will be 30 kilometers and the value of y will be 20 kilometers per hour just apply the values in this formula friends so 2x will be 30 kilometers per hour and y will be 20 kilometers per hour so divided by 30 plus 20 will be 50 so friends we can cancel 2 0 resultant will be 1 2 0 divided by 5 so resultant will be 24 kilometers per hour so finally we can say that the average speed of the entire journey will be 24 kilometers per hour so friends only one thing that you should remember that in both the cases the distance should be same if in both the cases or for the entire journey the distance is same then we need to use a formula called 2xy divided by x plus y so let me move on to question number two based on this formula number one question number two a train covers first 160 kilometers at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour so another 160 kilometers at 140 kilometers per hour and last 160 kilometers at 80 kilometers per hour so find out the average speed for the entire journey friends listen here friends a train covers a certain distance at some speed that is initially 160 kilometers at some speed in case number two again same distance at a various speed right in case number three again 160 kilometers at 80 kilometers per hour so friends in all the three cases the distance traveled by the train is same we already know that if the distance is same for the entire journey then we need to use a formula that is 2xy divided by x plus y to find an average speed but this formula is applicable only if there are two speeds but in this case there are three speeds right initially 120 kilometers per hour and 140 kilometers per hour and the third speed will be 80 kilometers per hour but the same formula just change the formula as 3xyz divided by xy plus yz plus zx so apply all the values here and uh, you will finally get an answer for the average speed right so friends finally by using this uh, formula we have solved two different questions remember only one thing if the distance is same in the entire journey or for all the cases then we need to use a formula 2xy divided by x plus y formula number two if a person covers a kilometers at a speed of x kilometers per hour and b kilometers at a speed of y kilometers per hour and c kilometers at a speed of z kilometers per hour so find out the average speed of the entire journey so friends listen here friends while comparing to the previous formula in the previous formula where for the entire journey or for the various cases the distance will be same but in this case where the distance is not same in all the three cases right initially the distance is a kilometers b kilometers and c kilometers so for the entire journey if the distance is not same then we need to use this formula to find the average speed if the distance is same for the entire case then we need to apply the previous formula that is 2xy divided by x plus y right so friends let me move on to this question friends a person covers 9 kilometers at a speed of 3 kilometers per hour and 25 kilometers at a speed of 5 kilometers per hour and 30 kilometers at a speed of 10 kilometers per hour so find out the average speed so friends a person is covering some distance right but in all the cases the distance traveled by the person is not same so if the distance is not same in all the cases then we need to use a formula called a plus b plus 
plus c divided by a by x plus b by y plus c by z right so where a b c will be the distance right so 9 kilometers will be the first distance and the second distance will be 25 kilometers and the third distance will be 30 kilometers so divided by a by x that is 9 divided by initial speed that is 3 and the second b will be 25 and the value of y will be the second speed that is 5 kilometers and c will be 30 kilometers divided by z will be the last speed that is 10 kilometers so friends if you solve this uh, expression then you will finally get an answer that is average speed for the entire journey so friends remember that you don't want to buy this formula right if you already learned time and distance i think you may know that average speed is equal to distance by time right usually the formula of speed will be distance by time right we know that distance three distance that is d1 d2 d3 right so distance divided by time so time can be calculated as distance by speed so distance by speed distance by speed distance by speed if you already learned the topic time and distance i think that you don't want to buy this formula right directly apply the concept or if you are new to an aptitude just buy out the two formulas then after learning time and distance i think you may know this concept so friends finally we have uh, uh, learned two important formulas that is to calculate an average speed in lesson number seven so friends don't forget to watch all the previous lessons so download those videos and keep all the videos safe and give to your friends so that your friends can also learn this so friends thank you so much for watching this video bye